How do you think this will impact the November election? Because we have already seen Vice President Kamala Harris struggle a little bit with the union vote. We saw Teamsters not making an endorsement in the same way they have before. And there are rumblings about pollings within Teamsters about how individual members are pulling more for former President Trump than Vice President Harris. There, there's really a kind of a difference in how unions are breaking for the two political parties this year. How does a dock worker strike affect that can, that uh, group of voters and and beyond? Well, I mean, just, just keep in mind, yes, the Teamsters, as you said, have decided not to endorse a, a candidate. At the same time, many local Teamster units and, and groups within the Teamsters have endorsed uh, Vice President Harris, and other unions have remained steadfast in their support for the administration. So you don't see spillover uh, from the kind of decision that Teamsters came to. Major unions, the UAW, the SCIU, the American Federation of Teachers, uh, they've all uh, come out with strong support for Vice President Harris. And even more importantly, uh, they uh, vowed and are setting in motion steps to help bring out the vote, to bring out the vote of their membership. You know, I think that's going to matter as an issue in that I think that contributes to the reluctance uh, uh, on the part of President Biden and Vice President Harris to uh, directly intervene and call a halt to the strike. But they're going to work hard to try and bring the parties together and get this solved before the election. There's going to be enormous pressure uh, from them and from other parties to get this resolved within a couple of weeks. When you talk about that other pressure, so obviously we have the political pressure and you mentioned durable goods like cars. Will the United Auto Workers Association step in? Will Is it the GMs of the world that will say, hey, you're really messing our supply chain? Is the pressure more going to come from other corpor- from corporations or from other unions? Or if consumers get mad enough, would consumer pressure move the needle there? Historically speaking, is there one group that has more power here than another? Well, I, you know, I think the businesses that rely on commerce are going to uh, put pressure on the, the Maritime Association, the management there. I think initially uh, uh, the, the Longshore Union will get support from other unions. The other unions are going to cheer them on, go for it. You know, we're, we'll be at your back. But over time, if this strike were to last and there were severe economic consequences that start affecting not only firms but workers in other industries, then you're going to see more informal pressure. Again, there, it's not that the other employers who rely on commerce or the other unions can directly intervene uh, to try and uh, stop the strike, but there can be lots of informal pressure, and I suspect that will build over time. 